All right, guys, this is step three. We're going to do API binding. In the previous two video, I already show you how to sign up with Bybit and Enbot. And then the second video, I already show you how to deposit USDT and buy energy. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to do API binding. Now you see on my phone here, you can actually click on API binding. And then you can see we have three exchanges. We have Binance, OKEx, and Bybit. I have all the tutorial already for other exchanges. In this video, I'm going to show you Bybit. So I'm going to click on Bybit. And you can see the help. You can click on that. It actually have some guides to show you how you can do API binding. And you can see you need to sign in to your Bybit browser account. So I'm going to log in first. All right, I'm logged in. We need to go to our user's name right here. And then uh, we need to go to account and security. After that, we need to go to API management. And then you can press on understood. You can press on create new key. And you need to select this one, connect to third party application. And then application name, go find coin metrics copy trading. Okay. Again, guys, if you don't see this option, click this one and go back here again and uh, find coin metrics copy trading. Uh, select read and write options. So make sure you take this one. Orders, positions, trades and account transfer uh, this is according to them and then you can press on submit google authenticator okay let me try this oh, why not? let me refresh fill in your google authenticator okay so you have your keys you can just copy paste it and then email it to your phone okay i've emailed it to my phone i will copy this go back to your onboard api binding click on buy a bit paste it here secret key is this one and then press on import Okay guys, so we try this one. Okay, if you follow the tutorial here, I tried it and it didn't work. Okay, if you see here, invalid, it doesn't work. So I find a new solution. Going back, we create new key again. Instead of connecting to third party application, we're gonna use the first one, okay, API transaction. And then we're gonna just name it import or something. Then we're gonna again take the same permissions, orders, positions, trade, and account transfer. Okay, as an example. So these are the things that I take. Don't take withdrawal, guys. Okay, just take these things and then click on submit. Confirm. Okay, make sure you copy this. Okay, and then send it to your phone. Okay, email it to your phone and then just copy paste it and then edit and you can see modify is done so it's activated you can see that is correct so you can press on understood here and then you will see uh, this is the expiration date you know the difference is just one is permanent and this one is expired in three months so you need to renew it every three months uh, while we wait for mbot team to fix uh, this problem okay they cannot they cannot connect this is just from my case or you can just try it yourself and if it doesn't work you can use my method instead and in the next video i'm going to show you how you can start the bot and profit guys